333. Stand and sing. Page 333. Get ready now. Whoa. Some glad morning when this life is over. appreciate him and love his ministry so everything that you give uh, will go to to help him out so give as God le uh, leads you brother Tom would you pray for us tonight Thank you. 
Amen. As we said, it's good to have Brother Ricky, so give him a hand as he comes to sing for us tonight. All right, everybody glad to be in church tonight? Let's, I'll tell you what let's do. Y'all hadn't really had a chance to sing yet. Y'all stand up and stretch. You've been sitting for so long. And uh, I want y'all to sing one with me, if you will. Because I feel like traveling on. If you don't know the words, just say, I feel like traveling on when I point to you, all right? My heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling. days it don't take a lot to see that does it and uh, I have a lot of concerns in my life and and uh, and one of them is coming up this coming Tuesday but I'll guarantee you this I can say this regardless of what happens in this election and we want the Lord to have his way and we pray that God will help us during this time because it's a critical time for our country but it doesn't make any difference who the president is come Wednesday morning because God's still in control and he's in charge, and he's going to take care of his children. He promised us, did he not, Brother Roger, that he would see us through and take care of his own. So I'm one of his, so I don't really have to worry about all that. But I am concerned for our country. We ought to be praying. Amen. Good to be with you all tonight, and hope and pray I'll sing a few songs that will be a blessing to you. You all have heard all my stories, so I ain't going to talk a whole lot. I'm just going to sing it. Try to be a blessing to you all. As Phil Kid says, then we'll go to the house and eat ham, all right? By waves and howling winds And the storm that threatened them The disciples sailed a boat on Galilee They were tired and full of fright They had fought that storm all night Then the Master came a-walking fourth watch of the night you fought and prayed but i am here and it's all right the storm will rage the winds will blow but they are under my control it won't be long till morning breaks be not afraid hope seems gone day is Resting on the doctors say that they've done all that they can do. Around the clock, this family prays, but 
help's already on the way without a doubt another doctor I've had so many requests. I've only been here about, well, I guess about 45 minutes now. But uh, from the time I've come in, people have been requesting songs ever since I've gotten here. And so that is a blessing because somebody will get blessed tonight. And uh, if if for no other reason, they'll get to hear what they want to hear, all right? So we'll let you all make the song list. But I hope and pray that the Lord will bless us and give us something. You know what? Uh, We didn't come to entertain and tell jokes. Me and Roger were talking just the other day. Uh, there's a lot of people got a lot of jokes to tell, and that's all right in its place. And listen, people are going to be entertained by something, preacher. Are y'all hearing me? Some people like sports, and some people like four-wheelers and hunting and all that good stuff. You know, there's all kinds of things that we can entertain our human side with. But when we come into his house, we ought to meet in one mind and one accord to worship him and lift him up. If we come and do that, we'll get something that will strengthen us and help us. See, we're not going to be able to get anything out of that other stuff. That other stuff ain't going to help us very long. But if you can get something from the Lord in this service to strengthen you, then you can make it throughout the rest of this week. That's what we're looking for in this service tonight. I'm excited to be with God's people. And I always enjoy coming down here. Y'all like family to me. And uh, you know how family fights sometimes. And so, no, I'm kidding. It's, it's a blessing to be with y'all once again. Uh, somebody asked me about this church. I was telling Roger about it in the studio the other day. Somebody asked me about this church uh, last week at a convention. And I said, yeah, you can't get in down there. That's my hole right there, buddy. I was kidding, of course. He said, how long you been going to that big church down there in Seffner? I said, about 20, 22 or 3 years. I said, ever since I was with the Wilburns. And I said, they just grafted me in to the vine there, and I just, I just keep going back. He said, I've made a couple of calls and, and know some people. He said, I'm trying to get in down there. I said, good luck. You ain't getting in there. I told him later on I was kidding. Actually, he's going to be at Sean's church up in Columbus before too long. Good family of folks, but I just want to aggravate them. And commend y'all on, uh, on making me welcome and allowing me to keep coming back and be a blessing to you. Hopefully be a blessing to you. Uh, I want to do uh, waving on the other side before I forget about that. And uh, Got to do that preacher song. Don't let me forget about Great is My Reward. Miss Betty, I believe Such a great cloud of witnesses Who've already made it home The grandstands of heaven Filled with people we have known They are cheering us on To the crown that now awaits And when we grow weak and falter, that's when they Christians who are 
tempted to give up this fight over yonder you can see them waving on the other side there's a mother and a father saying son don't give up now and the dear friend who left me brother lance saying brother stand your ground i can see that saint of god the one who led me to christ wave the way to sing that since Brother Lance uh, went on to be with the Lord a couple of weeks ago. And uh, some of y'all have heard me talk about him for years, uh, my mentor, my hero, and uh, just a great, great old warrior for the Lord, 77 years old and had Alzheimer's for about the last five or six years. And uh, he and I have written many songs for those who don't know the story of Brother Lance. We've written many songs over the years. And he went on to be with the Lord, and I was able to go down a couple of years ago and and uh, to a Lance Carpenter Day, they called it. And we just had a great time over there at his home church. Uh, all kinds of artists and, and family and friends, people from all over the country came. And we had a great day. And, uh, and then, of course, he passed away about two weeks ago. And I was able to get to go and be in the memorial service. And uh, a veteran. How many veterans do we have here in this building tonight? Oh, quite a few. Thank you for your service to our country. One of, one of the greatest treasures I got out of everything, I knew Brother Lance for a number of years. And he never did talk about his military background. And he was buried with full military honors right here at Bushnell. And uh, I did not know all that he was involved with, with the military. But it made me give me a greater appreciation for the man I already thought was a hero anyway. And there he is uh, serving our country with all those honors. And so raise those hands one more time. I want to see him one, one more time. I was busy talking. Bless your heart. Thank you all for the service to our country. We, all, we probably ought to do that every time, shouldn't we? I know we get in certain situations, people get around a holiday and they want to recognize them. We ought to be recognizing them every day. I think the same thing about our Lord and how he thinks. Some people want to get together just on Sunday and shout and holler and go back out yonder on Monday. But listen, we ought to be thankful every day we get up. He said, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. That's what the scripture says. And so if you're breathing, you have a right. Y'all take a deep breath. Y'all try it one more time. Some of you ain't breathing. Take a deep breath. I heard that. If, you ought to, if you're breathing, y'all will be praising the Lord. That's pretty good, ain't it? That's what you call calling them out, Ron, right there. We calling them out. 
I'm, I'm, I'm going to sing uh, Feasting at the Table of the King. I'm blessed one more time. I'm going to sing all of them. A poor and lowly man dwelling in the distant land of Lodibar. Crippled all of my days, mistreated and betrayed. My life's been hard. It seems I was born to lose till a servant with good news came by my way. He said, This king requests your presence. If you're willing, you can pack and leave today. And now I'm feasting at the table for the king's prepared a place here just for me. The one worthy I I'm adopted by this royal family I don't have much to offer him Nothing in my hands I had to bring But I'm glad I took my place And now I'm feasting at the table of the king Listen to this testimony A poor and lowly beggar Lost and dying Center with no friend. Then Jesus made me whole, saved my wretched soul. He took me in, and now I'm on my way to glory, sharing that sweet old story. Jesus saves. I'm so glad that He showed mercy, and that's the reason I am here today. And now I'm feasting at the table for the King's prepared a place here just for me. to offer him nothing in my hands I have to bring but I'm glad I took my place and now I'm feasting at the table of the king well I don't have much to offer him nothing in my hands I have to bring but I'm glad I took my place aren't you glad you took your place now we're feasting at the table of the king Place at his table. I was thinking uh, about halfway through that song, I was having trouble catching my breath. Y'all know when I was here last year, we talked about my my heart condition, and I lost all that weight last year, about 70 pounds in six months. And I felt good, and the doctor said, it's going to put you in the hospital. And I said, well, I feel good, and it's coming off, and I, I, I didn't have a problem with it. So the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital. That's how that worked out. And so when I went back to my doctor after I got everything straightened out and went through all that heart procedure and everything, and he said, you're fine. He said, you just need to start eating. <laughs> he didn't tell me when to stop. <laughs> so here I am again this year. Now I'm back in my fat suits again. So, it, But I feel good. So everything's going to be all right. I, uh, I, I gained a good bit of it back. Ron, about half of it came back. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need to die. Oh, Lord. Now he'll have to start having cholesterol problems. He'll blame me for it now. But uh, I, I thank the Lord for helping me through that time and helping me to, to get straightened out and feel better. Still have a little bit of it. Once you get once you get your heart out of rhythm, you have to deal with that for a long time. I, they say it may take a long time to straighten out. And I feel it every now and then. But I thank the Lord for his grace and mercy and taking care of us and and strengthen us again. You don't really think a whole lot about all that stuff until you wind up flat on your back. Then you start to realize, man, I am getting a little bit old. <laughs> and I shouldn't say that. I see a lot of blue hairs in here. Y'all going to be aggravated with me. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The older you get, the more you start feeling everything, you know. But I'm glad we can uh, trust the Lord to take care of us. I, I, I thought about this. I've got that new CD back. There's the, it's, this song is on the newest one. Uh, Greg sings it on our CD, and uh, I got to listen to it one day. It blessed me so much, an old, old song, Sheltered Safe in the Arms of God. And I wanted to sing it, so I went back in the studio and remixed it in my key, so I'm going to sing it for you. Uh, I keep singing in that old tenor key. Might ought to take some of that bottom end out of that track. It sounds pretty heavy. Something's buzzing on it, ain't it? I don't know.
know if that's me or not. Are y'all sabotaging me? You know, we had a, we had about had a knockdown drag out before church, y'all, about the sound. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I told them I said they were they were. Uh, I, I'll play it on the piano. I guess I will. Where's the band at? Come on, guys. Y'all think we need soundtrack? Something's wrong with your head. Come on. Where's your mandolin at, brother? Brother Ron, don't look around like I was talking to somebody else. <laughs> play, play something. I want you to be in the band. You might, this might be our last time to get the pick together, so just make faces and act like you're playing. Be flat. That's what that was. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're leading me in paths that I must try. I'll have no one of the songs on the uh, new CD. I was going to sing uh, Royal Descendant. 
off of that new CD, but I'm afraid that thing might be got something, uh, some kind of a virus or something. It sound, it don't sound too good, does it? It sounds kind of sick. We'll, uh, we'll just stay right here for a little while. Let's do, uh, I want to do Great Is My Reward. This is in B flat. Guys, y'all just follow along the best you can. Behind his old desk, a preacher sat down, reflecting on all of his years. He questions the times he and his family suffered and wept bitter tears. How much really mattered and how much meant nothing was it worth all I 
share sunshine and rain days filled with laughter nights filled with pain but with every mile as I travel this way the journey gets sweeter to us, hadn't he? Amen. Uh, request for blessed be the name of the Lord, and uh, that too is B-flat. I guess we'll just sing everything in B-flat. You like B-flat? Leave you choke right where's that, Brother Ron. I don't give him a hard time at all when I come up here. Amen. I love the story of Job because it, it, uh, it teaches us how to be faithful. Now that was a long time ago talking about thousands of years but what a great example to go through what Job went through and uh, having lost everything and still able to say the words blessed be the name of the Lord though he slay me yet will I serve him and that's being faithful and uh, I, I want to be faithful to the Lord like that no matter what comes or goes no matter what happens in this life he's still who he is He's still worthy of our praise. And I may not be much, it may not amount to much, and it might be a disappointment, a failure in this life. But I don't sing because of who I am. I sing because of who he is. I don't write songs because of who I am and how good I am. I'm, I sing, I write songs because of who he is and what he's done. And I enjoy just being a, a vessel for the Lord and just being a hand that holds the pen thankful for a great song like this. I had a, had a part in this song years ago and it's been a blessing to a lot of people. As the sun rose that morning on the day of Job's trial He rose up to serve God as any other day Bound and determined to live in God's favor Nothing would stand messengers came one by one with their stories in just a few moments Job lost all he had from the great wealth and riches to the health of his body even his children were dead then his wife her opinion she said you should end it just curse God and die but Job rose from the ashes and looked toward the heavens he brushed back the tears from his eyes then he said Blessed be the name 
gonna do a can I do a song that I haven't done but one time? I'm, you know it. You're doing better than I am because I don't know it. Uh, let's see if I can find it on my phone. This is I, I mentioned Brother Lance, and uh, I wrote a song, a tribute song, Brother Roger, for what he meant to me. And uh, well, that was a bill right there. I didn't need to see that. Uh, I got to thinking about the, the day he passed away. I got the, the word about 7 o'clock Monday evening. Uh, Monday's a week ago. And uh, this is going to be hard to read. Anybody got any reading glasses? I'm not joking now. No, I, now I won't be able to see out of them. I can tell you that now. I'm just, no, just regular reading glasses. That ain't what. Yeah, that's a prescription. I'd probably burn a hole in the piano if I looked through them very long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to work good. Listen, uh, Brother, Brother Lance meant a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to wait till I start looking at my phone to do that. Uh, I, I started, I laid down in the bed that night about midnight. And the Lord just started, of course, that's what we do as writers. We write about how we feel and what's going on in our life. And uh, I started thinking about all the things that Brother Lance had left me. Yeah. Great testimony and all that good stuff, you know. Uh, and I wrote a, a song called He Left Me in His Will. And I, when I got down there and sung it for Miss Carol and the family, I said, now I know what some of you law people are thinking right now. I'm not talking about a piece of paper down at the lawyer's office. I'm talking about he left me in his will. You know, what would Brother Lance want me to do? That's what I was thinking as I laid in the bed that night. He would want me to carry on in these last days and be strong and not give up, just like he did, a great example. And then I started thinking as I got further into the song, he left me in God's will to do what God would have me do. And I thought it, I thought it, it may not make a whole lot of sense to anybody, but it made a lot of sense to me. I think it will be a blessing to you. If you've, uh, you might be lost somebody on this side recently that you can kind of relate to this and uh, I ain't mistaken this is B flat too so you'll get to play again oh yeah that'll be out of order <laughs> uh, all right this sample five four one song but it starts in the five every time he lived a humble life serving Jesus With the meekness only God could ever give He wrote and sung about his blessed Savior A great example showing how to live Blessings that he left us can't be counted. His mantle fell on many more than I. But I'm thankful for the precious things he left me. A gift that I can treasure in this life. He left me in his so great He led me down the road of knowing Jesus a path I'll not forsake of all the things He passed I'll cherish greater still a testimony of this man who left me in What he leaves behind won't be forgotten For those of us who knew his life so well He couldn't leave behind great wealth and riches But he handed down a story I could tell Oh 
last thing he could have left behind. He left me in his will to serve a cause so great. He led me down the road of knowing Jesus, a path I'll not forsake. Of all the things he passed, I'll cherish greater still. Testimony of this man who left me in his will. Yes, he left me in God's will to serve a cause so great. He led me down the road of knowing Jesus, a path I'll not forsake. Of all the things he passed, I'll change. to give uh, pen roses on people while they're living and uh, I tried my best to do that to brother Lance and uh, but the best thing that could be said about somebody is is uh, is the testimony that they leave behind on this side now uh, I would hope and pray that uh, everybody in this building knows the Lord if not you're not gonna have much of a legacy to leave behind and uh, every day is another call another opportunity for those who don't know the Lord to make things right. We're living in the last days. And regardless to what, uh, what happens this week in our nation, uh, we're in the last days and have been for a while. And so we need to be getting prepared. And we need to be getting our families prepared, ready to go. Y'all know what Noah was doing the whole time he was building that boat, don't you? They was out broadcasting, telling everybody that the waters are coming and judgment's coming. And did but a few of them board up, and there probably won't be but a few board up when he comes back. But I want to be ready. I want to be found faithful to the Lord, laying up those treasures on the other side. Not just, uh, not about what's on this side anyway. I want to do, I want to do one more time. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just do it right here. I was going to do it uh, with that track, but I'm afraid it might mess up. I messed around and got hung in this shirt and can't get out of it. You might have to cut me out of here. Roger's looking at me like we're serious over here. He's going to go get a Bowie knife. <laughs> One more time. Thank God for what he's done in my life. <clears throat> That's why we've gathered here, right? To thank him and praise him for what he's done. He's been good to you? Yes, he has. I'll sing one more song and we'll let the preacher have it. I'm going to do this one in chief. Today, I faced him out. Once again, it seemed so tall. I tried to climb, but it seemed I'd surely fall. So I knelt and called on Jesus, just as always I felt his presence. His hand of mercy lifted me just in time. I want to thank Him. I want to praise Him. His grace has been sufficient. And like before, He's given victory.
looking back on this journey since the day I first met him so many times his love and mercy has rescued me so again I come before him one more Sings for he has been so good to me. Oh, I want to thank him and I want to praise him. His grace has been sufficient, and like before, he's given victory. sing that last that last yeah. verse Please. heads are bowed eyes are closed you have a need tonight in, in your life and you want to be remembered in prayer for whatever it may be would you just slip up your hand last and pray for me I have a need tonight I have a burden that I'm carrying I need I need to be remembered in prayer any others just raise your hand but last and pray for me bless all the hands tonight I wonder if you have a loved one who's lost and away from the Lord and they need Jesus in their life just slip your hand up and I say and pray for me bless all the hands Rick's going to sing this last verse. How many of God's been good to you in your life? And I love that second verse. It says, looking back. Too many times we look forward to what's next and we forget to remember all the things God's done for. Maybe you just want to come tonight and thank the Lord uh, for what He's done in your life. This will be our, our invitation. God, we love you. We thank you for uh, Ricky tonight, for the spirit we felt. Thank you for his ministry and his songs, Lord, that speak to each and every heart. I pray for those who've raised their hand tonight. Uh, so many have needs in their life. God, if they feel led and they need to come and pray, I, I hope that they would do that. And others who have loved ones who are lost, who need Jesus. And maybe some that just need to thank you tonight for all that you've done for them. Just have your way in every heart and life. And we give this service, the invitation service, over to you. Have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. If you need to come, if you need to pray, as he sings, the altars are open. Looking back on this journey Since the day I first met him So many times His love and mercy Has rescued me So One more time I'll stand to praise Him for all His blessings. For He has been so good to me. Oh, I want to thank Him and I want to praise Him. His grace has been sufficient. Ciao.
shadow in the valley was low when the river was wide so high enjoyed Ricky Atkinson tonight. Praise the Lord. We thank him for coming. And I know he has uh, different CDs and different things out at his table, so make sure you get out there and stop by. Tell him how much you have appreciated it. Uh, a few announcements. I want to remind those, if you're going to be helping for the Thanksgiving uh, community dinner we're going to be uh, doing uh, in a couple weeks, uh, we're going to be meeting over in the cafeteria. Uh, right after church, so we'll start about 15 minutes after we dismiss here. So please make your way over there, and we'll meet there. Any other announcements before we're dismissed?